It's been a world-renowned form of dance that combines the athletic with the sensual. We've seen it in movies, on reality TV shows, and even with a recent U.S. president. It's fluid and beautiful, and now there's a program to teach it to seniors in New York City. Tango Forever came to life one year ago to serve the elderly in underfunded senior centers in the five boroughs. For now, it's in Queens and Manhattan, and the result has been a total success. Seniors not only get to enjoy themselves, but also reap the added health benefits. I feel much better because it made me happy and healthy. Argentine tango is basically a dialogue between two partners, a leader and a follower. And for it to be successful, one's mind and body have to essentially listen to the leader's movements. Might sound easy, but that's where a good and patient teacher comes in. Once the body got it, then we can just walk through. Three, four. Thomas Reale has been a tangaro for over 20 years. Even to people that are in the regular community, I have this way of teaching, which is to make sure that they don't get lost into something more complicated than needs to be. Thomas joined the Tango Forever Foundation because he himself saw the health benefits and was all the more enthusiastic to see similar results in an aging community. The amazing thing is that how much the people are, they get more and more interested as this curriculum goes on and because they're experiencing changes in themselves and their bodies. And there's so much research that coincides with this for me to watch this happening is very interesting. Once a week, in senior centers in Manhattan and Queens, Tango Forever attracts all of what makes New York, well, New York. On this rainy day on the Upper West Side at the Red Oak Senior Center, the crowd might be thin, but for Carmen Ortiz and Clinton Powell, a little drizzle won't keep them away. You feel like a love or something inside you. <laughs> and it makes you like graceful, grace, very graceful. And at the Benjamin Rosenthal Senior Center in Flushing, they were also delighted to dance the tango, with testimonials that can only fuel the desire of this tangero to keep teaching. I learn a lot. Not a lot in the uh, meaning of the dance, but uh, for my uh, spirit, health, that's good for me. <laughs> Dancing in general, um, give you some movements. It's good for your, uh, your mind and physically your body. And no matter how, you move a little bit here and there, it helps. After taking lessons for many months, seniors strut their stuff at a Tango Forever event. So New Yorkers, you have no excuse. Join the movement and embrace the tango. I'm Magalie Laguerre-Wilkinson for Arts in the City.